Have you ever thought about trying a shorter shaft in your driver? In today's video, we're gonna be testing a shorter length driver shaft to see what happens to performance in comparison to a stock standard length. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Gary Martin, and today joining us with Sam Smith from Golf Repairs for You, where we're gonna look at shaft length in driver. Yeah, I said such a big thing, and you know, the test today, we're doing it just standard stock length against like a freewood length, because I think a lot of people always wanna to resort to, you know, a shorter shaft without control, but does it actually benefit you, basically? So we're gonna be testing that. Yeah, and how we're doing it differently is, you know, what a lot of people get wrong, Sam, is they try and cut their own driver down, don't they, from, yeah. from the butt. And, you know, obviously when, when, when they do that. Yeah, you know, it, can, it can just have, you know, more repercussions again. If you did, like I say, a freewood shaft, a lot of times a bit heavier, they tipped a bit differently. But how we've kind of done it today, we've done both 60 gram, smoke black, yep. stiff. So it's a bit more realistic where someone would just cut their driver shaft down, not say put a freewood shaft in. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see what it does kind of swing weight as well. We'll even do it later where we kind of rebalance it to where it would have been, same you know, swing weight with a standard length and yeah. just see how it kind of compares. Um, but yeah, it'd be an interesting test, basically. I think if you've been watching the videos that me and Sam's been doing together, you know, when you reduce, a, you know, if you were to cut your own driver shaft down, you're going to obviously reduce the mass of the golf ball, but also the swing weight. Yeah, swing weight drops low. So every half an inch shorter or longer you go, it affects swing point by three. So three with shafts obviously a fair bit shorter than driver. So yeah. you know, I expect to see in a minute when we put them on a swing weight scale to be a lot lighter. Yeah. And it just, again, that's what, someone would do normally yeah and then it's then get it reweighted and like i said take it to someone like myself and see what it then can do to get your performance as good as it can so be. for this test day are we going to swing weight the club so they're the same swing i think weight? first we'll do it as you would yeah. without any alterations like i think any normal kind of customer would yeah uh, thinking it wouldn't have any repercussions and then we'll reweight at the end and do it our master fits like yourself yes do it. And then, like i said i'll reweight it and then we'll see what that does to performance if it's any better right cool um, yeah, so we're going to be using a new PXG Black Ops driver as well for this test, 10 and a half degree. It's a bit easier to kind of do all the weighting compared to, say, Gary's driver. Right, so, yeah, I mean, like shaft length wise, let's have a measure. Very different, I'd say. It looks to me like they're about two inch difference I'd in length. I'd say it's about two inches, which is about. They measure from a four, so inch and three quarters. They measure from where the four is, so. Yeah, a fair amount short. Like so, that's going to make the swing weight, you know, drop massively. If you've never tried this test at home, guys, I was surprised how much just one inch feels. You know, yeah. like when it's one inch shorter in length, how much that feels different. So this is going to feel incredibly different. I've never actually tested a, a driver in that shaft length. You know, so short. Yeah. Well, so it'd be interesting to see. You know, a lot of people say you get more control, but you can lose distance. So yeah. it's just seeing if that's true, really. Um, what we're doing in terms of grip. Uh, can I go standard or thicker or we can just leave it standard yeah leave it standard as long as it's like for like yeah it's like for like yeah so d four and a half so quite standard a tiny bit heavier probably not a bad thing in a way because by the time we then put this uh free wood shaft in in a minute you'll see how much it can drop so same grips on both just obviously shaft lengths the main difference drop my screw but yeah, we'll see now, it's a uh, be very different. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it's basically C5. So yeah, it's dropped nearly 10 points. Wow. Which is loads. That's and that, insane. And that's the thing, that's what people would kind of normally do at home, thinking it's not going to make a huge difference doing yeah. it. But like I said, it completely throws the balance out. They're trying out. to get more control, and all they're going to get is probably a snap up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, obviously, again, yeah, generally when you go shorty, you know, it can affect your release. So it'd be interesting to see what it does to dispersion. Like I said, we'll try the standard length first as like a baseline. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, be, be very interesting to see what it does to kind of, yeah, you know, distance and is the dispersion any better by going shorter? I wouldn't suspect that you've fitted many people for a free wood length shaft. In no, the I've never done it. I think the shortest I've gone is about 44 and a half playing length, which is an inch shorter. It's not something that people like request because I don't think there's enough on the internet about the performance that, you know, gains or losses. Yeah. Because I think when I've seen videos on YouTube, it's all been how you do it from home. No yeah. one's ever actually done it how we're going to do it today. Yeah, like I said, I think... And swing weight it correctly. Yeah, I think a lot of times, like I said, people would just kind of... 
Again, I think not, there's no kind of repercussions from doing it, but it can definitely make a difference. I think when it's re-weighted, it'll be very different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to see how it's going to pan out. So yeah, give that a go, Gary. Um, oh dear. Smoke <laughs> there. Yeah, we are testing with a Pro V1 as well. If yeah, you... like I said, your normal ball of choice, but that might change. It might not be for, for, for much longer, but we just feel that because a lot of people use this ball, it's better to test with something that you've, you, know, you might have heard or played of. Tell you what, it's driving well. If they stop reducing it Black Friday sale, I'd think about bloody buying one. I'll say it well. <laughs> it's bloody brilliant. I'll say it pretty straight as well. They must have some speed on that. They're brilliant. Full speed. The product's good. fantastic. Yeah, really good launch and spin. What do these retail at? <laughs> <laughs> um, five four nine. The tall heads five nine nine. Is there some decent shaft options? Uh, well, obviously with me, it's all this. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah, there's a few, a few sh you know, stock options. I've yeah. got to put a pan round in that a bit. I know. <laughs> Is there a few decent shaft options? I do a three sixty at room. <laughs> I think so. I think there's a few. hanging on yeah oh you've hit five great job you <laughs> should take part exchanges <laughs> first impressions first impressions I'm in a wand. I feel like I do feel in control. Mm. And I've said this before on camera. If you're new to the channel, I've said when I pick like junior clubs up and ladies clubs, I always feel like I can do whatever I want with it. I feel yeah. so in control with a short shaft. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't feel great. <laughs> there you go. About that control. That's the swing weight, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's so much lighter, your hands are working faster through the ball. I were not expecting that. Well, I sort of think you've hit five absolute perlers, and then all of a sudden you just hit a massive hook. I were expecting, like, well, not that. And again, it's a different story if you then reweight it. Yeah. Um, well, it's ten. Did you say it's ten swing weights lighter? Basically, nine and a half, I think. Um, so I've got to add about, yeah. 17 and a half gram or something, quite a lot. Oh, I can't hit it. What the f <laughs> hell? <laughs> Consistent there next to each other. Jesus. But this is a problem. This is what people would normally do. People would not think, oh, I need to reweight the head or anything yeah. like that. I and mean, we would just cut it down. And obviously, as soon as you cut it down, it, it's never the same. Even if you extended it again, it's never the same. Because you've got to put a two inch extension in. So it's like you, you just ruin your shaft, basically. Oh my God. I don't know what to say here. I can't really start manipulating it, can I? Oh, it's gonna well, no, the that's test. not, again, it's, you're meant to be going short to for the control and you've done completely opposite. Um, Do I need to hit another two? <laughs> hit another two just to make sure, but I think. Try and get one straight. I mean, I can try and manipulate it, but is that defeating? That's defeating, I think it's defeating the object. You know, it's designed to gain more control by swinging as you would. I'm not swinging as I want here. Yeah, well, speed, yeah, it's a ball speed still. Just it as will quick. be because face you shut, is, yeah, you're shutting the face down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up manipulating it because I'm basically hitting a bag snap hook. So if I if I hit any more, I'm just going to try and hold the face off. Yeah. Or. or if I just swing, it's just going to pull left. I can. F 
Go. I'm, I'm Finish for five, I think. Shall I just try and swing? Yeah, just, just swing like you want to swing. It looks ridiculous. It looks like I'm trying to do this snap up, but I'm not. If I swing normal, it's just, that's it. That's all you're going to get. It's very consistent. It's just very consistently 50 yards. I mean, whatever you want to do a demonstration on swing wagon. Well, yeah. Sam, I'm not hitting another one. Well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, that's four. I mean, but it shows that that's not a one-off where you've hooked it. You've hit four in a row exactly yeah. the same. Um, and again, the ball speed's not really changed. Like I said, it's going to be interesting in a this. minute. Just look at this. <laughs> that is consistency. At its worst. <laughs> well, it just shows you go lighter, your hands just turn over more. But like I said, it's going to be interesting in a minute if you get it reweighted. Mm. To the same swing weight, and you know, the odds are the ball strike is going to be way better, a lot straighter. But that's when you think, is the distance going to be there? If anyone's ever questioned whether fitting really works, I think that just shows you everything you need to know. Yeah, you, know. you hit five drives, sanded length, great. It, it, you know, you didn't miss a shot. I'm going to say something here as well, guys, which I've never said before. Until I met Sam, I have had probably 100 fittings and never once has anybody discussed swing weight yeah. and look at what happens if your swing weight is not measured for you yeah yeah it's, it's, it's such a big factor that it's something to get very overlooked I couldn't ever have a fitting now without swing weight yeah otherwise there's just no point there's no point in buying a club unless it's swing weight right and that's you. the thing you picked that up you went oh it felt you know felt really easy to kind of feel in your hands and use when you hit four shots is straight left. It, it's what it, it's what it felt like. It just felt as though the club was just gone. Yeah. Like weird. Yeah. Like I said, it it was just it just flipped my hat. It was flipping my hands over. I think if we look at data now and then we'll reweight it yeah. and then we'll bring the data in again. Um, like I said, there's no shots to kind of take out. Yeah. I mean, it's I said dispersion was great. <laughs> just yeah. very left. Um, that's the thing. Look at your ball speed. So your ball speed's actually quicker, yeah. and I think that's because the, sh the face is shutting more. Yeah. Um. So it puts well, more I think pressure it's on the it's ball. It's releasing more. So the club head is like getting. Is just yeah. Flying so in because front, it's it? like so basically like the loft's dropping, so you put more pressure on the ball. I so felt as it was literally getting here, and then yeah, it was just it, yeah. That's exactly what it, it was doing. like because there's not enough you know weight in the kind of club. So all of a sudden your launch drops massively, spin drops massively. Like I said, the deviations are good. There's no doubt that it's doing a repetitive thing. But again, side angle, before you started 2.3 degrees left, now it's 6.7. I'll tell you what, slicers, anyone who slices the ball, come and see Sam for a shorter shaft. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's finding different ways. Again, everyone reacts to it in a different way. You know, yeah. Someone else could pick that up and not really feel any different. Yeah. And it's just finding something that yeah, you react to in a good way and a bad way. And like I said, narrowing it down. Um, and like I said, I think for you now you've kind of got your driver fitted correctly, and so mm. you've you've seen the benefits of you know getting the swing weight dialed in. Um, Can we do it in the swing weight that you know you'd reweight this back up then? Yeah. So like I said, we'll get it to was it D three and a half? Yeah, D three and a half. So we're going to get it to D three and a half. How it works? Uh, as it was length. with standard length, and um, yeah, and just see the differences. And in theory, it should be similar in yeah. terms of. Um, kind of launch and spin, but the main difference is, is mass as well, because adding a lot more mass into the head, a lot of times that's good for ball speed. So even yeah. if you lose the length of the shaft, you might, in theory, get more ball speed again, but get it in a consistent way, not yeah. snap up, basically. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get it reweighted. Um, I'll keep the same ratio, so I'll check what these three weights are and just kind of add all around, not kind of favour one side. All the what? Round. Ram. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming here because I can take piss out of someone else's accent. <laughs> so we've got the only person that I can take piss out of. So. That's fine. <laughs> so we've got a, yeah, so 12 and a half gram, two, two and a half grams. So that's just their standard kind of setup. Um, we had it in tow weight for Gary anyway because he needs fade bias. Um, so I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to keep the same kind of ratio. So I think, go. I'll start with probably adding five gram in each. So if we go to... Right, to start with, I think it's not far off. I've added five grams in each section. So, I've got a tad early, I think. Oh, fair, that's about as close you're going to get it. What we got here? Yeah. D4. That's yeah. Because we've become two and a half gram increments anyway, so that's the closest you're going to get. So I've kept the ratio the exact same. I've just literally added five grams in every section. Uh, so swing weight is basically identical, but shorter shaft. 
be interested to see that. So, like now. so let's see. Yeah. Back there to normal. Exactly. <laughs> Do not buy a driver unless it's swing weighted. There you go. That's a tip from me. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, it's... It, it, You've hit four in a row straight left and all of a sudden... And do you know what? There'll be times where we've all bought a driver and really, really, you know, got depressed wanting to pack game in. And I've had drivers that do that. Yeah. And I'm, I'm battling with them and battling with them. And I've never known what swing weight it is. Yeah, that's the thing. There'll be something that's just not right. You, I've stuck big grips on stuff, not realising... Yeah. Your, it's not always a problem. Your neighbour, Kev, his swing weight might be really heavy. You know, if he's put, if he's using small undersized grips, and he's not, you know, he's he's got like weights in head, and he's slicing it, thinking that yeah, it's, it's getting the weight to... distributed in the correct place. I mean, it's just chalk and cheese. Oh, so, so we've cured the dispersion, and then we need to see what it does to the other, you know, ball data. Do I feel any more control over the standard shaft? I'd say at the minute, I'm going to say no. Yeah. Because I think I, was, I think I felt so comfortable anyway with standard in this yeah. driver. I think because we know you, you've waited it kind of for me, haven't you? Yeah. But yeah, like it's a tad bit lighter than what you normally do, but for this purpose, it's we've kept it the same swing weight. It certainly feels better than that light one. Yeah, exactly. just shows you with you get a club reweighted your ball flight yeah. can just change instantly um but i wouldn't say in terms of look at the numbers now but i don't think it's as consistent anyway right let's have a look at it reweighted but yeah it's just you know if, yeah dispersion wise it's That's mad it's absolutely so reweighted in freewood length it's going as far as standard length yeah and what's dispersion like? Standard length still tighter. It, it's isn't still it? better with standard length, um, but it shows you you get a, a free wood shaft reweighted million times better than just cutting it down and not doing anything to the head. You know, spins up way more, launches up because the face is shutting down. Your side angle is very similar to the standard length. Um, what about club data? So club data. Uh, oh, look at club speed. Takes a massive hit with freewood length, doesn't it? Yeah. That's efficiency. That was better with standard. I mean, this, but, yeah. uh, when it's not being weighted, I'm swinging less speed. Yeah. Obviously, when it's re weighted, I'm swinging yeah. a bit faster at least. Yeah, again, potentially because of timing. But you are going to lose quite a bit of club speed. How come I've lost then so much club head speed in the re weighted, but still got um, distance? Is that because of the mass of the head, maybe? Potentially, yeah. What would ball um, speed like? Yeah, so ball speeds are all oh, yeah. basically identical. So it, it does show that you go shorter, you don't really lose that distance, but obviously you lose a lot of dispersion. Well, you, you don't lose the distance if you have it reweighted yeah. correctly. Yeah, exactly. You can see the numbers are a bit different. So it, it's actually launching lower yeah. um, compared to the standard length. Um, whether that's... Yeah, dynamo loft. The dynamo loft's a bit lower, so you just deliver less loft at impact, whether that's for shaft length making a, kind of a, a change. Path's a bit different. Yeah. So your path's not as severe in terms of out to win, which again can make sense because obviously if you're further away, you can kind of put your hands more in front of yeah. you. Um, again, tack angle's a bit different as well. So you're down 1.2 yeah. where you're up on the ball more. And again, because it's longer, you've got more room to kind of, yeah, like I said, it's not as steep. You think like a 7 eye, you're never going to be as steep on the ball as, say, yeah. a drive because the shaft's shorter. Um, so you got to look at all these things, really. Um, but yeah, for me, you personally, you're still fine being the standard length. Yeah. Um, numbers are pretty good to be fair. Um, 
But yeah, you can see that it can definitely benefit some people, but it's yeah. got to be reweighted. Otherwise, it just does that. <laughs> so, guys, I think in conclusion, I think it's safe to say if you've ever thought about playing a shorter driver, is do not butcher your driver. Do not try to cut anything off the butt of your club. Possibly don't even take it into like a pro shop unless I'd just take it to, to somewhere that does similar to me. You yeah, know, we'll actually explain what the repercussions can be. And just get it reweighted. You know, we've yeah. seen it makes absolutely massive difference when you re reweight well, it. Well, when I, when it were reweighted, Sam, I didn't feel uncomfortable swinging it, but I didn't have any gains personally. Yeah. Uh, but the, there might be some people out there that are a bit more wild with a driver that would get gains. Yeah, I think sometimes people get a bit more intimidated with a driver in terms of shaft length. So yeah. if it means you feel a bit more comfortable with a shorter shaft length, it's fine. But again, yeah. you've got to get reweighted. Otherwise, you just hit snap hooks, basically. So the key message is, yeah. Yeah, try just not to, uh, try not to do this from home. We yeah, are really like I said, it, it's yeah. You need to do some research and, and just I didn't know what to do. That today. No, it, it's very different. And again, you've hit it left. Someone else might react to it in a different way, but it would never be as consistent yeah. as if you got it reweighted. Put it that way. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button. We're going to do some more videos here with Sam at. I'm going to say it. www.golfrepairsforyou.co.uk. Who can help you with all your Fitting and golf repair needs. Yeah. Um, the best man in the business. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll put a smell on his face. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying making these videos, learning a lot about golf. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and I hope really you guys good. are as well. If you've got any ideas for videos, get in the comments and any questions for Sam. You're always trying to, you know, keep up with yeah. the clients. But it's sometimes difficult if you've replied maybe like a week or two after the video has been released, but we'll do as best to try and, uh, you know, check the to messages and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So we've got plenty more to do today, so we're not going to hang around too much longer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a few days' time. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.